Uh, my name is Nida. I'm from Omaha Central. This is my honest poem. The name is Nida Nile the Joke, which briefly translates to Girl Goat Nile River Puppy. I'm 5'6, 100 and pounds. My birthday is February 15th, which makes me an Aquarius. For some reason, it's an air sign despite having Aqualodge at the beginning of it. My favorite movie is Free Willy, mainly because I had this ginormous crush on the main character. Just to clarify, I'm not talking about the whale. Free Willy inspired my love for orcas and the ocean. The first time I saw both, I was so overwhelmed with the emotion. I cried harder than I cried harder than I need a metaphor there, but that wasn't the last time I cried over something beautiful. Sometimes I watch the show Friends, but I would never tell my own because I'd lose too much street cred. Jokes on myself! I have zero street cred. I am selfish, selfless, and all things in between. I am fluent in two and a half languages. I can speak English, and je parle français, un peu, if you count the four semesters of high school French I learned. I might be Beyonce reincarnated, even though Beyonce isn't dead. At times I find it easier to speak with a pen and a paper. Hence why my best friend is a journal. She doesn't do much talking. I am too kid to adult and too adult to kid. My mom tells me my hands are made out of snot, mostly because I'm terrible at holding on to things that actually matter. There are times I trace the lines of my palms. Imagine their routes for worlds far away from here. I'm hesitant to tell you that though the earth can comfortably sustain up to 10 billion people, I feel like there isn't enough room for me. That my body has space for one person and it already feels occupied. I'm hesitant to tell you that I can feel myself filled to a brim. That I'm a leaky faucet, a body of water. I am the Nile River and my mouth is a trap door. It shuts down before I can expel of all this village. They tell me nothing liquid can ever be broken. So answer why do I feel so broken? I wonder if the pages of my journal would tell me to shut up. To stop complaining about gray skies and dark clouds when three billion people are starving. I wonder if the tip of my pen pulses at each stroke. I wonder if they too are tired of hearing from me. I'm fluent in three languages, Neuer, English, and silence. I know all too well what it's like to feel imprisoned in my own body, to be held hostage by my own guns, to, to be trapped by the layer of barbed wire I call my tongue, but I know that the only way to escape is to begin talking, but sadness, sadness is a language I'm not familiar with.